This brings us to some of the most important questions. What the heck is a T4 cell? How does it work? And what is so great about it? To explain it, I made yet another drawing. As mentioned before, the signal is coming straight from the input transform. And as you can see, we have a pretty skinny signal here with some nasty peaks. And a portion of it is fed to the peak reduction pot, while the rest of the signal is moving on towards the amp circuit. After the peak reduction pot, that portion eventually hits the T4 cell. More precisely, it hits an electroluminescent light panel inside the T4 unit. And the more signal it hits, the more light this panel emits. Mounted directly to this panel are two photoconductive cells which act as kind of a variable photoresistor. The more light they receive, the lower the resistance. And the lower the resistance, the more compression. To make that more understandable, imagine the signal path inside the LA2A as a, some kind of passageway. This passageway goes from input through the gain reduction section, followed by the amp section to the output. But in this passageway, right before the signal enters the amp circuit, there is a trapdoor mounted on a hinge. And this hinge be our photoresistor. And as stated above, it reacts on light. So if it sees only a little bit of light, the hinge is rather strong, you know, and mostly resists the weight of the trapdoor. Thus, the trapdoor only opens up slightly. And that means our signal can pass that door mostly undisturbed, you know, and only a little bit gets lost. But as we turn up the peak reduction knob, or if the signal level or the peak level rises momentarily, more light is being emitted to the hinge, which in turn, you know, gets weaker. So it lowers its resistance, and that means it can't hold the weight of the trap door any longer, and it opens up. So more of our signals tumbling through the door, and less of the signal is passing undisturbed, so we have more compression. Now we only have to turn up the gain knob to make up for the loss in gain introduced by the compression. And as you can see, our skinny and peaky signal from the beginning turned into a fat and smooth signal before it finally hits the output transformer. Okay, so far so good. Um, hang on, I just said there are two photoconductive cells mounted to the panel inside the T4, but why are there two photoconductive cells? Um, simple thing, because one of them controls the actual compression being applied and the other one connected to the view meter to reflect the amount of gain reduction. Now, the special compression character of an optocompressor is based on the time frame all of that happens within. But to not stretch out the video longer than necessary, I put all of this, I put all of these details in uh, in the um, you know in the PDF. <laughs>